Alright you guys, today we're going to be doing some top 10 videos. Now, first we're going to have my top 10 favorite artists. Now granted, these are my top 10 favorite artists that I currently listen to right now. That I listen to the most. I have a lot more. But I won't do that video till like next before like next Christmas or something. I do top 20. But right now I'm only going to do the top 10 that I currently listen to the most on my iPod. I mean iPhone. So uh, yeah, let's get started. And at number 10, it's Phil Collins. Oh, my God. You, when it comes to R&B or soul or whatever he sings, it's, it's just so fucking awesome. The music the music is just right. And then when he comes on and starts singing, you'll just be like, mm -hmm, that's some good shit right there. Another Day in Paradise is just fucking awesome. Uh, True Lovers and... Um, uh, I don't have my iPhone with me, so I can't look at it right now. I'm just going by off the top of my head. Uh, True Lovers. Uh, uh, is it Take Me Take Me Home? Yeah, Take Me Home. Uh, it's all from the Hits Collection album that I currently own on my iPhone. But um, in short, Phil Collins is awesome. Number nine, we have Bruce Springsteen. Now, granted, I've only heard like uh, two of his songs. I've only heard Pink Cadillac or Pie Cadillac <laughs> and uh, uh, Born in the USA. Born in the USA is just fucking awesome. That's the first time I've ever heard this song. I heard this song for the first time this year when me and my girlfriend went to Seal Beach and we watched um, Carnival Cruise head on, sail on over to Mexico. Um... And that song played right before we went to the beach in her in her car, and we heard it. And from that moment on, I was like, I need to download this song. So about a week later, after I got paid, I downloaded that song, and I have it on my iPhone ever since. And I just, 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 and every time I listen to that song, it reminds me of that day we went to the beach. It was nice and breezy, and it was just nice and quiet, and I loved it. Um, number eight, Kenny Loggins. Yeah. Um, Kenny Loggins and um, Michael Mal Michael McDowell Mal Michael McDonald that sings uh, uh, I think that's him with them that sings This Is It you know I fucking love that song okay and then Michael I know how Michael Jackson has a song called This Is It as well but you can't knock Kenny Loggins This Is It mm, this song is fucking great love it Oh my god, I need to download more of his stuff. But I have to listen to more of his stuff first before I download it. Kenny Loggins. Number seven, Brad Paisley. Yes, he's a country music singer. I do listen to country music. Um, I got the one with him and... Uh, is it Kelly Clarkson? or It's one of those. And they sing uh, Remind Me. Fucking love that song, okay? Just a great song. I remember watching. I heard that on um. I hear at her house, at my girlfriend's house, we watched it on this TV station that just plays music, and they show like the pictures and like music. It's like music choice, the updated version of music choice. It's not music videos anymore. It's just like it has like the MC and it has the little picture of the song and the credits and stuff. That's where I first heard that song. Then I went to YouTube and looked up the song. And loved it. Okay, now I have it on my iPhone. Very good. <sighs> Number six, Alice Cooper, and the song "He's Back," the man behind the mask. Oh, that song reminds me of Friday the Thirteenth, even though it is Friday the Thirteenth song. But um, yeah, I fucking love that song, man. Oh, <sighs> I know most of these songs are kind of one hit wonders so far. I only heard that the first song. But that's how I get into these. That's how I get into the um, groups that I listen to today. Because I listen to one song, then I was like, okay, I need to go back in and see what else I got. And I go back in. Depends on what I like, and I click it. So, yeah, that's how I start. That's how I get started, baby. The Alice Cooper. Fucking awesome. Number five, JoJo. Oh. oh, I had such the biggest crush on JoJo when I was younger. Um, I think she's like 21 now, I believe. But I own all of her music, okay? That ain't gay shit. 
that's some good man shit right there, okay? Um, that this girl knows how to sing, okay? For a fucking twenty one year old, she's white, of course, and she has she does she does R and B music. I'm mean, like, holy shit, okay? Then she did one song I heard a year and a half ago, two years ago. That I did, I like the song. But it was kind of over the top because now she's older, so she tried. She had to prove that she's older by cussing throughout the whole song. Yeah, don't do that, JoJo. You're better than that. Okay, keep your music clean or something like that. Just don't do it just because you're above age now. That, that makes no sense, and it kills everything you work so hard for. So, yeah, but JoJo's awesome, man. Number four, Ozzy Osbourne. Ooh, wait. You hop on the board, the crazy train and shit, man. God damn. Ozzy Osbourne. And he appears in Guitar Hero War Tour. At the very end of the game, he appears on stage. And I believe, um, Crazy Train is the song you play towards the end while the credits are rolling and he's singing and you're playing the guitar. Oh my god, Ozzy Osbourne. He's crazy. But he's a whole hell of a lot of fun. <laughs> Him and his family. But, um, yeah. Y'all love some, y'all love some Ozzy. Y'all love some good metal and shit. He has one more I heard. I forgot the name of it. Um, I have it saved and like, because I got this little program on my iPhone. I can scan and it finds the music and it tells you what it is and who sings it. That's how I found that song. So now I gotta go back on YouTube, find it, save it to my favorites, keep it there so I can remember it, and then download it on my iPhone pretty soon. Ozzy Osbourne, boss. Number three, Steve Perry. Oh, yeah. Aerosmith, not Aerosmith. Journey's Steve Perry. Yeah, Steve Perry from Aerosmith. He's an Aerosmith. Uh, Journey, there we go. Steve Perry is just awesome, okay? I know, he has a song he sung by himself. I keep forgetting half these songs. I know I'm bad at remembering music. But once I hear the song, oh, it jumps me right back into gear, baby. I mean, come on, Steve Perry, Journey. I know Journey is kind of overrated, but I still like them. My girl still likes them, of course. She knows every goddamn song that comes on that radio. I'm like, damn, how do you know this stuff? It's just like me, though. I do know the number one person song every time. I don't know all his music, but when I get to him, you know I know who should be by now. But, um, yeah, Steve Perry, awesome. Number two, the late and great Tina Marie. Oh, my God, that was, that one was so fucking real. Oh, my God, she's been gone almost two years. It'll been it'll be two years this month, December 26th, I believe. I think she died, like, the day after Christmas. I was so fucking, I made a video about that, too, but it was also deleted with my original 88 videos. I was so uh, fucking upset that I couldn't believe that shit. And I still remember that night. You know, I was, we were going to drop my cousin off. Then she gets a phone call, I think from her friend or her mom. And she was like, you guys know Tina Marie? And I was like, yeah. I listen to her music all the time. I'm like, why? She's like, she had a heart attack. And I was like, is she alright? She's like, no, she's dead. And I'm like, What? No, 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 no. Went home, confirmed it. I was like, oh, son of a bitch. That woman has some music, man. Love a girl. Can't last a day. Um, cruise control. Fucking love is a gangster. Gangster. Oh. Baby, I Love You. It was just one of the last CDs I got from the Congo Square. One. Even Congo Square was awesome. It reminds you of going to the beach in the Caribbean or something. Tina Marie. Rest in peace. Lady T. Number one. Rick Astley. This man is the fucking truth. He's British. But when he sings, he sounds like an American man. I don't know what the fuck it is. He's just awesome. You know? He doesn't even have to use language in his songs he for to this day he sings clean i love it okay and he made a song called superman how fitting i'm a superman fan 
So, of course, I instantly downloaded that shit. And they even have to listen to it. I just downloaded it because I knew it was going to be good. One, because it's Rick Astley. Two, it's called Superman. And what do you know? It's good. <laughs> Rick Astley is one of the last great people who can prove you don't need to be cussing your ass off and none of this bull crap talking about sex and all that crap to be awesome and to get yourself somewhere. He doesn't make albums right now, but he does he still be on tour. I do follow him on his Facebook page of course. See what the hell he's up to. He comes on there every now and then, tells us about stuff. But I really wish he'll make that seventh seventh or eighth album. That's what I'm waiting on. Oh, when he do. iTunes, you're gonna be my best friend that day. <laughs> but um yeah, that was just my list of my top ten favorite artists. If you guys have a top ten favorite artist or because I'm going to save top 20 for next year. I have more than this, but this is just the ones I listen to the most as of now. But I have more than this. So if y'all if they didn't make the cut, don't worry about it. <clears throat> they will be. It's like, why didn't you put this on here? I'm like, well, he's not the one I listen to the most. I listen to the words I say before I get ready to get started on my videos. But um, if y'all got any top 10s, either put them in the comments or make a video response. So, um, yeah. I'm out. See you in a minute.